Hi guys and welcome back to Omsa 2 again where today we are driving on boarding them in the 1980s with if you haven't already known this new bus that is the MB 407 or 0407 so yeah change our destination now and um, put 56 or put 56 up there we go it's 56 and we are going to Heath Heath Park Estate. So we're driving the 56 today to Heath Park Estate. We're telling you about this new bus that has come out and a couple of other things here and there on this journey today. So yep, I'm setting off bang on time. So yeah, um, this bus, um, of the date of recording, that's the 14th of the 6.15, this bus came out yesterday on the 13th. So yeah, it came out on the 13th and it's a really, really, really good bus. Oh yeah, um, I'm going to have a few FPS issues with this because I've downloaded this bus and it's taken up a bit of memory. So I'm going to have some FPS issues. Unfortunately, I do apologise in advance. I'll try and rectify those. Hopefully. So yeah. Notice one of the errors with this bus is I think the reversing lights come on when you accelerate. But mm, I'll just ignore that. I don't know if that's supposed to happen or not. But this bus comes with. Um, different destinations so it comes with this destination this this one that's my favorite the road lines and the annex the annex one is the one that it comes with blocks like it does on the d92 so that's that one so the destinations are good and things so yeah I do like the sounds of the bus as well but unfortunately I can't call those for you guys so yeah Unfortunately not, but anyway, they've been drowned out by ambulances and things. Well, unfortunately I can't record these sounds for you. Because of how I, because of how I record. But yeah, just look at that bus. The bus just looks awesome. So, I think this just has to be one of my favourite buses at the moment, does this? Because it's just fantastic. It's nice bus, it's got nice levels to it. I also like the single door at the front as well. It's really good. So yeah, it's like what fascinates me is the small destination. I just find that really, really cool. The, the really small destination, something really interesting. Yeah, I think this route I've driven it coming to Wapsley bus station. So the Heath Park Estate route calls at Apsley Apsley bus station, Ap Apsley bus depot for the SYT. Um, Sheffield Omnibus Bus Depot and the hospital, they're the main points on this route. So yeah, I have to say the 56 is quite an interesting route. I've never driven it before as to this date. So yeah, it's quite an interesting route. I drove it coming because I tried to record it coming but I had some issues, it kept um, freezing. So I thought I'd drive it going. I'd drive it and going, try and get all the FPS and things and all the blocks loaded up and then I'll drive it back. So that's what I did. Just to get it working. So yeah. I know that my previous building and video was the 0307 and that was um, on route 12, line 12 on the 1980s. So this follows on from that, 1980s again. And we're driving 56, and bearing in mind that both of the buses, the 0307 and, oh pardon me, and the 0507 were both made by the same person, and they're both up to the fantastic same quality. Love looking at the depot. So this, in, in later years, is owned by Stagecoach Birmingham. So yes, in later years, as it's owned by Stagecoach. So yeah. And also, Sheffield Omnibus turns into first, and Mainline turns into a Reaver. So yeah, that's all of the updates and things. So yeah, I downloaded this new bus, um, the Omnibus of UK, and, found, and really helpfully found for me that the new version of the Gemini. Now the person who made this AD156, who made it on the Osweek sites and uploaded it there, Osweek sites uploaded it there. <laughs> yeah, I said that lot. We uploaded it to Osweek. And what he's done is, I think he's gone back and edited it, so it now has a working ticket machine, destinations and a few repaints, including National Express, First, Reliance, um, Island Buses, 
demonstration. I think one other one, stagecoach. Stagecoach is the other one. So there are the repaints that it currently has. But I've, I was diving yesterday and done the canise with the um, destinations, or the first livery with different destinations up. So yeah, it's quite interesting now, so that means that people can create <clears throat> like first West Yorkshire routes and things like that. Because it is the first West Yorkshire repaint. So yeah. I mean Lynch has just got to go round and round roundabout. <clears throat> oh wow, there's 56 is one another. Oh yeah, oh gosh, oh gosh. Yeah, and if anybody can help, I've had problems with me or three or five destinations where they're coming up with two chunks in front. So for example, um, the 56 I've seen there is coming up with 78. The 375 is coming up with 598. Five, yes, 597. It's coming up with 597. It's 375. And yeah, just kind of that. And then 405 is coming up with... Um, 405 is coming up with 6, 2, 7. So they're all coming up with really weird ones. If you can help me that, I'd really appreciate that. I really, really would. <clears throat> so yeah. I know that I got quite a lot of um, good feedback from my map within the first couple of hours of me uploading it so I was quite grateful of that so thanks guys who have commented on that video and also um, if you haven't seen it already then just check out my channel it's my new work in progress map and um, please comment and let me know what you think of the map because I want to know what to improve on and what's good Mainly, mainly the improvements, I think that's a bit loud, mainly the improvements, but yeah, both, and things, so yeah. If you guys want to help out um, with any of my work in progresses and things, um, then I'd be grateful of that if you, can, if you want to create island buildings or buildings and things that I could use, then I'd greatly appreciate that. I'm also thinking of... Uh, because if you don't already know, I've set up a steam farm for us all. I'm hopefully getting all that sorted, so I have a standard and video, um, what do you call it, standard video descriptions, so where it shows up these steam farms and things like that. Oh, that don't work, does it? I think it works on other buses. But it's going to be standard steam farms and the blog. But if you guys. I'm thinking of creating a group project. I'm mainly taking this out to a couple of people who regularly comment on the videos. But I thought I'd just let it know to you all that I think it'd be quite nice if we can create like a group project. So if people create buildings, repaints, and then I can piece everything together and people can beta test it. And then we can upload it. So that'd be quite good to create group projects. Because that's something I wanted to do. Because then what I could do is I'd, I'd piece it together. Other people could create the buses, the objects. And that'd be just fantastic with that. That'd be something that would be really, really cool. Yeah. Oh, these lights are red. Oh, it needs to slow down in time. So, yeah. I need to move further forwards. I think I've said it before, but I like the height of the box. How um, it is and, like, the details on it. I've only had it for one day. Not even 24 hours, yeah, and I just, it's a really, really good bus. Really enjoy driving it. And I recommend to anybody who hasn't already got it, I recommend getting it. Also, while I'm on the things of downloading and things, if you haven't already purchased OMSI 2, I know yesterday it said, I think it said either 14 days or 14 hours, and there's a Steam sale on at the moment. Now, um, the Steam sale is um, giving, it's like a summer sale, is giving loads loads of games and money off. Now I haven't had a proper look at it, I don't know if it's still on while I'm recording this video, it should be, should be still on, but we'll have to see, but they were having 50% off, um, OMSI 2, so if you haven't ever purchased OMSI 2 then I just recommend check that out and see. See if it's still on because I recommend getting OMSI 2 because I know there's a couple of people who watch this channel out there who haven't already purchased OMSI 2 so yeah I recommend to those to get it so yeah it's 12.22 yeah 
think we're running on time, just running about on time, yeah. Well, sorry about that, guys, I just had a little heavy with the recording in there, so... Ooh, that was a bit weird. Um, so yeah, sorry about that. Um, yeah, as I, as I was saying, the textures on the bus are very, very good. Oh, and I've like, got a really big queue behind me. <laughs> um, yeah. The textures on the bus are really good, it, but this bus really does follow on from the 0307 and the Manuel series, in that it is a really nice quality bus. And it's like the Grafton Stift bus that I drove on Canterbury. The, the same type of buses are all intercity buses, but they can be used on city routes as well. Like I'm using this on the 56, and they still suit the 56. So, but it's really enjoyable to drive this bus. It seriously is. It's seriously enjoyable to drive. I know I'll keep going on about it, but it's really, really nice. It's really nice quality, and the sounds are fantastic. And just everything about it was really cool. I haven't driven the Annex or Rob lines, but I watched the another video that came out, and I did prefer the Dot Matrix one. This one that I'm driving with because it just looks small and not how up text it's in. Just I find it really fascinating. But I might drive. I'll have to see if the Rob lines um, are the same as the O three O sevens because I think they are. I'm not. Quoting, don't quote what I say, but I think they're exactly the same as your 307. Meaning that um, I could drive the road lines on some other maps and things and they'd be the same. So, yeah, I think they are the same. I think they are Trinity Way. Trinity Way stop now. I am going to start driving on boarding them in the. Um, latter years and things soon so yeah I've got a couple of videos planned but um, this was rushed to the front um, as it came out quite recently I've got a couple of other videos like in editing and things and like ready to um, finish off and over record and things like that and all complicated stuff stuffs um, so yeah Got a couple of other videos either being edited or being planned and things like that. Um, or I'm editing what I'm saying because things have changed and we're updated. So yeah, and this was just rushed to the front as it's a new bus that came out and I wanted to show you all guys if you didn't already know about this. So yeah, I thought I'd just show you this. I might also do a video with the Gemini soon. I think I might um, drive it. Not with the sounds, because the sounds aren't anything interesting. Although, I tell a lie, I'm being a bit harsh there. The sounds are actually quite good. On the B90L, they sound really accurate, but the um, bodywork just needs editing. On the B90L, so it looks like a B90L from the back. And it also needs changing into orange dot matrix to make it accurate. Oh, that looks close. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, but the B90L has got some good sounds, and I will, if you want to check out the Balamere Island Work in Progress map, um, Omnibuses UK um, kindly left the download link for us all. So yeah, um, kindly enough, so we can all have a look at that, and if you want guys, you can download it. And we can, and I will hopefully be making some videos of it soon, I'm thinking of driving it on Newcastle map at the moment as well, I think I'll drive it on that. Because I've got, because I want to drive a couple of other routes on Newcastle and things. And talking of Newcastle, um, Lucas, who helps me out on the Minecraft videos, he um, did a really good job at driving the X38. Sadly, we weren't recording because um, we were having a little break in between recordings and things. But he really he did a good job of driving the Dennis Condor 11 meter. So hopefully you might be driving that again and we'll record it and upload it onto this channel. And I think I've said it before, I'll say it again. Um, he is starting a YouTube channel up soon. So hopefully he'll be able to, um, I'm going to be giving him a hand sorting that out and things. We had a couple of issues. So hopefully that will all be rectified soon. So yeah. I think we'll go around this roundabout and round, and round again. So yeah. Oh my god. 
So, um, guys, if you want to check out these our Steam um, farming page, you're more than welcome to friend request me as well. Um, I think it it depends on how it works. I'd not I'd not want people to friend request me. I want people to be on the forums instead. Partly because it's easier for me to be on the forums because then anybody can go on. Because I will be rejecting people if they like want friends because unless I know who they are. Because I've heard a couple of stories about things um, where people have made friends and there's been this and that and this and that. So yeah, I am going to have a bit of a push like on the forum and not the friends. But it, I'll have to have a detailed look on Steam to see how it works and see if people can just work on themselves onto a forum. And I'm hoping people can. I am hoping, but we'll have to see, we will have to see, so yeah, um, we'll have to see about that, <coughs> so yeah, oh gosh, there's an ambulance there, and it's really doing my headache, you can get past, yeah, you can, you just move forwards, can you get past, come on, early, why have you stopped again, Move over to the edge. No, I don't want to go on curb. Can you get past now? I'm just going on the curb. You're getting past already. Oh dear. You're ruining my video ambulance. Go on. Go on. There we go. I want to create a map with the 0407 in in this replay because that was just really cool. I do like this bus, I'll hopefully be driving a couple more routes and things with this. Because the, the bus and the livery and everything is just fantastic. It's just phenomenal. It's just really, really, really good. Um, we were asking about the Chicago's map. Someone was asking about the Chicago map um, on the Steam forums yesterday to this recording date. Um, and they were asking about Chicago. Now, it's boxed release is for the 2nd of July. That's rent where this must be where the 21 finishes in 2015. But yeah, um, they were asking about the release date and I said it was 2nd of July, but apparently there's going to be on Steam, there's going to be the downloaded version that's going to be available sooner. Now, I'm considering to myself if I want the download version or the, C or the CD, and I'm thinking more that I want the CD because it's just going to be better. That's absolutely, not absolutely, um, Bramley Bus Depot that takes from Leeds, Bramley, and that's Sheffield Omnibus that changes the into first. So yeah, um, Chicago's coming sooner than we think. That's much, much better. But the box release is 2nd of July, so that means I might be a bit later than most other YouTubers, but I will still do my own little review of it. Hopefully if it takes my FPS. And hopefully it's not enough and hopefully if not millions of people do reviews of it because if millions of people do reviews of it there's no point in me doing a review of it myself because there'll be, there'll be loads and doing videos of it but we'll have to see we'll have to see and how it works I might drive the buses on a different map that's what I might do I might get the buses and use the technologies on a different map like Birmingham just for the fun of it it'll be interesting I'll review the buses and review the different things on the map but we'll have to see I was considering um, doing a review on... I haven't stopped at that bus stop ever. Oh, is the registration? Yeah, haven't you noticed, guys? I put the Humpty 2 ETS registration on for our YouTube channel. On my YouTube channel, so yeah. I put the registrations on front. Um, so yeah. I might be a bit later than other YouTubers, but I will be doing videos of Chicago. Hopefully, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. Also, I was thinking of doing my own mini um, thoughts and things in regards to Chicago on the review that I was really considering doing. I might still do. I might just get the video and and we like get it, we upload it, or go onto the channel, or go onto the thing and show you all the website and show you the trailer and things. I might do that, and then I can give you guys my personal opinion of it and then you can all share opinions but we'll have to say because 
I think it's a bit late to do that, to be honest, because it's only a couple of weeks until it's coming out, until the release day, and it's going to come out sooner on um, download. So, yeah. Yeah. One thing that I've noticed is at least the ticking machine um, works, this kind of ticking machine works on this bus. It's just I know it didn't, I know none of the um, tech showed up on the manual surveys for some reason. It was a bit of a shame. So yeah, unfortunately. So here we are at Walton Lane. So I think we're near the end. I think. Oh my gosh. Oh, there's a car inside the bus. I've noticed that with Omsi 2. I don't know if it's like... An hour or something, but cars on another sure if it's boarding them are driving into the middle of buses. I don't know how or what problem that is. I don't know if it's been there for ages, but they have I have noticed them that they've started to drive into buses when buses are stationary. So don't know how that is. Oh yay! I love them one way roads, I really do. I really do like them. I'm gonna be recording a video of new um newly like re-release London and South map. I'm going to be doing a video of that soon. Oh, I've left that break until last minute. So yeah, I'm going to do a video of that soon, but just be patient as I just had to record this it first, and I will be recording London and South next. Hopefully with Route 73, with not too many problems. So yeah, hopefully not any problems with that. So we'll make our left turn down here. And we are reaching is yeah, I think I recognise this. This is terminus, isn't it? Yeah. So we're at the terminus guys. So Heath Park Estate. So yeah, we're at the terminus. So we're pulling here. I had um sorry that with timetable coming off and all I was changing. So yeah, we're here at Heath Park Estate. I think everybody's already got off the bus. Oh no, yeah, they all got off the bus. So, thanks guys for watching this video. Um, I have to say, this bus is absolutely fantastic. I absolutely love the look of the bus. The dot matrix and the single dot at the front. It's really cool. So, hopefully I might be making some more videos with this. But a couple of other things are coming soon. Because all the add-ons have been released in one go. So, yeah, there's loads of stuff that I still need to make videos of. So, I am going to be making videos. I might start to focus the channel on OMS 2 a bit more, but we'll have to see. Any suggestions, let me know. Subscribe for gaming videos. And more on OMS 2. And I hope to see you in the next video I make. But goodbye for now.